Ligon, this is Brock Lesnar vs Paul Ligon match Roman Reigns interference, please like, subscribe and share Here we go. Guys, uh -oh. oh, we have a brawl on our hands. The WWE Universe is chopping to the bit to see these two competitors go at it. You can count me in on the excitement. I can't wait. Uh oh. Batten down the hatches. F5! Thunderous! Incredible. And the speedy kick out by Brock Lesnar. That's either sheer genius or complete stupidity, Cole. Uh-oh. Batten down the hatches. Close quarters. Oh, no. Lesnar's about to end this. He's starting to feel it here. He looks incredibly motivated, though. Don't expect him to be down for long. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected, especially considering oh, who wow. he's in the ring with. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. Caught in leg. Gets out of the way of that one. Brace for impact. Here it comes. The big five. Oh, my. But did he go for it too early? But now, can Lesnar make the most of this? You want to know how dangerous Brock Lesnar really is, guys? Just go ask Triple H. After all, Lesnar did break the game's arm twice. Uh-oh. Batten down the hatches. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Avoids trouble there. Cole brings up a good point about the danger that Brock Lesnar poses. And keep in mind, Triple H isn't the only person who suffered a broken arm at the hands of the Beast. That's right, Corey. Triple H's good friend, Shawn Michaels, also had his arm broken at the hands of Brock Lesnar. Paul's killing it right now. Oof. There's a kick out by Brock Lesnar. The Beast won't stay down. As we've seen in the past, Extreme Rules matches create a type of hysteria that's difficult to describe, even more difficult to contain. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. With an F5! Bang! Can he finish the job? Given the number of times we've seen it tonight, calling it a finisher might be a bit of a stretch. I'd have to agree with what Byron's saying. When you got action taking place all over the arena, complete with every weapon imaginable, it's not easy to keep up. Well, try, Cole. That's what you're getting paid for, isn't it? Fireman's carry. This doesn't look good, Corey. Couldn't agree more, Cole. This has got trouble written all over it. F5. Oh, my. This could be it. We may be looking at a power bomb here. That's exactly what it looks like to me, Cole. Oh no, we could be looking at a power bomb. 
I think you're right, Cole. Look, here it is. Brock Lesnar is about as unstoppable a superstar as we've ever seen. His losses are few and far between, and when they do happen, there's often controversy involved. I'll start with you, Corey. How do you conquer the beast? Well, Cole, it ain't easy, but Brock can be surprised. It took Goldberg all of 90 seconds to spear and jackhammer the beast and shock the entire world at Survivor Series in 2016. So, yeah, be as strong as Goldberg and take Lesnar by surprise. Not easy, but it has been done. Oh, boy. That number power bomb. Oh, bomb. Not done yet. Oh, not God. again. Not again. A third. Wow. Enough's enough. Wow. What a gritty performance. Face buster. Man, that was vicious. And there it is. He thinks he has it. Yeah, I don't believe it, that he didn't win this match right there. Gonna take a whole lot more. I don't know about you guys, but when Brock Lesnar left WWE back in 2004, I assumed we'd never see him again. But I was wrong, and I couldn't be happier than I was. I knew he'd be back. Goodness, this hurts. Oh! Oh, the reversal by Brock Lesnar. Byron, you mentioned Lesnar's extended leave from WWE in 2004, which was at the height of his WWE career, just months removed from being WWE champion. However, he used that time away wisely, making a name for himself in the MMA world. I think that's understating it a little bit, Cole. The truth is, Brock Lesnar was the top dog in MMA for a long time. Heck, I'd say he could still be an MMA champ today. Showing some quickness there. Brock Lesnar with a nice reversal. Double play impact. Boom. Boot. Nice. Close line. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, oh it goes low. You're not cheating, you're not trying. He goes for the cover. Two! He gets the shoulder up in time. <laughs> yeah, try again. There is no way that is going to topple the Beast Incarnate. I got to agree with you, Corey, on that one. This might be it! Oh, my! technique going all the way up look at this this is what makes him one of the best in the business wow I thought he was a goner oh the reversal by Brock Lesnar The head scissors are fine. Oh, 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 man, that's just nasty. He might have it. When this guy's on, look out. When Brock is feeling it, good luck to you. Harsh impact. Guys, you never know what you're going to see in a match like this. And if you need proof. Uh-oh. Batten down the hatches. Brutal face buster. Can he finish him up? He's got the shoulders down. Two. And the shoulders up in time. Not yet. Brock Lesnar just too fast for him. Lightning speed from the beast. 
As Corey mentioned, Daniel Bryan versus Kane from 2014 provided scenes we never thought we'd see. Most notably for me was Bryan carrying Kane back to the ring via a forklift. That's right out there, Michael, but let's not forget that was also the match where Kane went through a flaming table. Without a doubt, this is a volatile situation, guys. WWE superstars are dangerous without weapons. Then you put them in an environment like this, and who knows what you're liable to see. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. God. Right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. God. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. God. Hard to argue Michael's point on volatility and the volatility of this match, but what a... Uh-oh. Batten down the hatches. With an F5! Bang! That has got to be it. You're not going to win many matches that easily. Yeah, he's not done yet. Uh-oh. Batten down the hatches. He's making a statement here with this attack. Jeez. There haven't been many performers who can claim their first WrestleMania match was in the main event. But then again, there haven't been many performers. Uh-oh. Batten down the hatches. Close quarters. Boom! Oh, a knee right to the face. And five. Oh, my. That's how you put an exclamation. He's going for the pin. You guys brought up Brock Lesnar's first WrestleMania. Yes, it was the main event, but you failed to mention that he won that main event match, too. Yeah, Corey, it would, he's got him covered. Barely at two and a half. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. Too early in the match to end it. Uh-oh. Batten down the hatches. He's got a head of steam working. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Here we go. It's quite the accomplishment to win a championship at WrestleMania. Uh-oh. Batten down the hatches. F5! Thunderous! If that doesn't end it, I don't know what... He's got him down. Is this it? Digging deep for a kick out. Still seems a little early. He's in control. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Byron brought up Brock Lesnar's Universal Championship dominance in back-to-back -back WrestleManias, yet we're back 30 years for similar circumstances at the showcase of the Immortals. Yeah, but even though... Oh, no! Lesnar's about to end this! With the F5! Bang! But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? His shoulders are down. singles match well they don't call it extreme rules for nothing guys let's take another look he ain't messing around almost forgot about this one he ain't playing here I really enjoyed every minute of this They proved who the better competitor was tonight. This guy looks like he's ready to tear through the entire locker room. And I wouldn't put it past him. As we close the book on this match, I need...